Hey families, it's Miss Merritt. I just wanted to take a second to show you how I test for sight words. Um, this is the front of the booklet. This is one that I'll have at school. They'll have their name at the top. When they pass a test, the front side and the back side, they'll get a smelly sticker here and I'll write the date out to the side that they passed. When they fill up all 10 circles, they'll, the book will come home and it's theirs to study, hang on to, whatever they need to do. So opening up the book, here's our first test. The words are I, run, A, in. What I will do a lot of the times is cover them up. I'll just use my hand. I'll usually have my pencil. What's this word? What's this word? What's this word? What's this word? And then I may do it a couple of times just to make sure they haven't memorized the order of the words. A lot of the times I will have the kids come in. I'll cover up these words and tell me that word is I because they've memorized it in an order instead of actually knowing what it's supposed to be because they shouldn't be practicing in order. We should uh, be practicing in a random order. And if you want flashcards, I can send those home as well for you to practice. So we'll go through this a couple of times in a couple of different ways. I'll make marks on it to know that they've passed all the words. Now they're there, excuse me, now there's the back side. So they also need to pass this page in order to move on to the next test. So they, will, they should be able to tell me, I am run to, a mom in it. A lot of the time I will just start at the bottom and have them tell me the words. In it, a mom run to, I am. If they stumble on a sight word back here but they've got it on the front, I may go back and say it's this word here. What was this word? Run. Okay, let's try it again. What's this word? Run. Run to. If they're really struggling with the backside, I will probably make them wait to move on and have them test again the following week. I really want them to study for mastery, to know when they see these words what they are, not just to memorize them and dump them and move on. That's kind of why we put them in some short phrases. If they see them in other text that we're using in the classroom, in our reading stories, in our math book, um, phonics, or handwriting, they start picking those words out when they see them other places. Okay, so that was just a real quick rundown of how we test. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Thanks.